Today we are looking at three dimensional geometry. The figure below shows cuboid A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. AC is 52 centimeters. AC is this diagonal here. BC is X as shown. CE is 28 root 3 centimeters. So that is this diagonal here, diagonal CE. And angle CAB is 30 degrees. CAB, I'll show you in a while. M is the midpoint of line FE. So M is right here. It is the midpoint of this line FE. Well, we are required to answer the following. Determine correct to four significant figures, but A, the value of X. So X is line BC. Before we determine that, let's consider this length AC. So AC, we are given as 52 centimeters. AC completes triangle ABC. Now ABC is a right angle triangle. It's right angled at point B. Remember, the triangle ABC is part of this plane, plane A, B, C, D, that top there, which is a rectangle. And by the properties of rectangles, the corners here we expect to be 90. So the triangle ABC is right angled at this point. Now, considering this triangle, if I may extract it here, we have triangle ABC. And we are also given the angle CAB, this angle right here. Already I can show it here in this triangle. It's 30 degrees. So with this, we can determine the side BC, which is X. Now, given that this is a right angle triangle, we can apply the trigonometric ratios, sine, cosine, and tangent. So we are going to pick on the suitable one, given the sides and the angle. While applying Sokatoa, where S stands for sine, C stands for cosine, T stands for tangent. So sine is opposite of hypotenuse, Cosine is adjacent of hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Now, with respect to the angle that you are given here, these sides are related to it by sine. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. And with respect to 30 degrees, the side BC is opposite and AC is hypotenuse. So we are going to use sine. And therefore, we say sine of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite side, which is now x, over the hypotenuse, which is 52. For the sake of cross multiplication, I will have this over 1, so that I multiply x by 1 to give me x, and then sine 30 by 52, that is 52 times sine 30. Sine 30 is a half, and therefore a half of 52 means x is 26.00 centimeters so this is to four significant figures as required in the equation well for part b we are required to determine the angle cae now let's consider the line CA and AE. CA and AE meet at point A to form that angle there, and that is the angle CAE that we are required to determine. Now we will consider this triangle here. I want us to take note that this is not a right angle triangle, so we cannot make that assumption. Therefore, let me extract it here. We have triangle ACE. So we are required to determine this angle here. Let's call it theta for now. For this triangle, we are given the dimensions CE. So 
so these we are provided with in the question so ce is 28 to 3 and we also know ac which is 52 just as we have here now at this point we are going to apply cosine rule we will apply cosine rule because considering this triangle it is not a right angle triangle and therefore we will not use Sokatoa, that is sine, cosine, and tangent, as we had used before. We can only think of sine rule or cosine rule. But again, for sine rule, we need to know at least an angle with a side opposite that angle. We do not know any of these angles, but we are given the two sides. Well, that's why we are resorting to cosine rule. And for this case, Cosine rule would demand that we know the values of all these sides. So let's consider this. Having in mind that we are going to apply cosine rule, we can label the side that is opposite the respective angles with letters. For example, angle A, the side which is opposite to it is this side here. We may label it a small letters and the side which is opposite angle e we will label as e in small letters again similarly for the side which is opposite angle c this side here we will label it as c the task here is to determine the side c and once we've determined side c we will be able to apply it in the cosine rule which states that a squared is equal to c squared plus e squared minus twice ce cosine of a note here that we we have expressed it this way because we are looking forward to determining the value of a so considering angle a we may have cosine of a at this point and because we have cosine of a here we will have the side A squared on the left hand side of this equation. And then the rest of these parts will be the other two sides, that is E and C. We cannot apply this formula yet because we do not know the value of C and the value of A. So we have two unknowns to determine. And therefore, we'll be required to determine one of them first. And then we come later on to determine the other one. And the first one is the value of C. So to determine the value of C, which is length AE, we will come back to this diagram. We need the value of AE. And before that, let us first of all determine the value of AB. We will see how that will be important in determining the value of ae as we continue so ab is part of this triangle that is triangle abc now abc is a right angle triangle and therefore we can apply pythagoras theorem to determine the value of the missing side that is a b note that bc we had determined earlier on as 26 and AC, we are given in the equation as 52. So AB, applying Pythagoras theorem, will be the square root of hypotenuse squared, and hypotenuse is 52, so 52 squared, minus the base squared, the base is BC, which is 26, as determined before, and therefore we have 26 squared. This should give us 45.03 centimeters. That therefore means that AB here is 45.03 centimeters. From here, we can now determine this plane here, the side ABGF, that plane. And in that plane, we can also extract a right angled triangle, that triangle there, that triangle ABF. Now for triangle ABF, BF, which is the hypotenuse, is parallel and equal to CE. CE, we already have as 28 root 3, so we can just label it as that. Now with that, 
we can already see that it's a right angle triangle and it's right angled at point A. And for that reason, we can again use Pythagoras theorem to determine the value of AF. Now, AF will become the square root of hypotenuse squared minus the base squared. So we'll have hypotenuse squared as 28 root 3 squared minus the base squared, that is minus 45.03 squared. This should be 18.01 centimeters. So length AF is 18.01 centimeters. Now we were looking for length AF so that we can put into consideration this right angle triangle. Now on this right angle triangle, we have length AE, which we need to know its value. So for this right angle triangle, we already know the value of FE as 26 centimeters. And now we also know length AF, which is 18.01 centimeters. Now with this, because it's a right angle triangle, we can apply Pythagoras theorem, and therefore AE, AE would become the square root of AF squared plus FE squared. And that means we are going to have 18.01 squared plus 26 squared. So we have 18.01 squared plus 26 squared. This worked out should give us 31.63 centimeters. Remember, AE is the length C which you are looking for. Now, 31.63 centimeters is C. Having determined the value of C, we can now come back to this cosine rule and do substitutions. Remember, we know the value of A. A is 28 root 3. C is now 31.63 and E is 52. So substituting, the left hand side becomes A squared. And A is 28 root 3, so 28 root 3 squared should be equal to C squared, and C is 31.63, so we have 31.63 squared plus E squared, that is 52 squared, minus 2 times C, that is 2 times 31.63, times E, which is 52 cosine of a so we have that now on the left hand side worked out we have 2352 and then here we have 3704.457 minus this part worked out we have that well when you take 3704.457 to the left hand side we will subtract and have negative 1352.457 and then on the right hand side we have negative 3289.52 cos a as that and therefore we'll divide both sides by negative 3289.52 and that will mean we will have cosine of a as negative 1352.457 all over negative 3289.52 as that. So cosine of A is 0 0.4111 when you divide the right hand side. And in order to determine A, we get the cosine inverse of 0 0.4111. A is therefore 65.72 degrees that is to four significant figures now for part c we are required to determine the angle between the planes bcm and efgh now let's consider the planes plane efgh that plane right there 
and we also have the other plane bcm bcm that one right there we are going to determine the angle between them now the angle between two planes is the angle made by two lines on the two planes the two lines should be meeting the edge between the two planes that is the edge where the two planes are meeting or intersecting so we have the two planes intersecting at point m point m lies on plane or other line fe line f is the edge there so we have a line on plane bcm that line there it should meet the edge at 90 degrees we should also have another line on the other plane meeting the same edge at 90 degrees at the same point point m now the angle between those two lines will be the angle between the two planes let's call it theta now we can complete this to have a right angle triangle it is a right it is right angle at this point so in order to determine the angle theta I may extract the triangle here. We need to note that this length here, that is this length in the diagram, is equal to length CE, which we are given as 28 root 3. So we may label it as 28 root 3. And we are required to determine this angle here. And this angle here, we may label it theta, just as we have it in the diagram well we may decide to use any of these sides together with this hypotenuse to determine the angle theta now i'm going to choose on the base the base y uh, fortunately prior to this part we had already determined the value of y so consider this side a b we are determined as 45.03 and side AB is parallel and equal to this length here. That is 45.03 centimeters and this length here is the Y that we are looking for. Well, considering this side and the hypotenuse, we can apply Sokatoa and for this case, this side and the hypotenuse are related to the angle theta by cosine. Remember, this is adjacent and this is hypotenuse. So we have cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we are going to say cosine of theta is equal to adjacent, which is 45.03, all over hypotenuse, which is 28 root 3. This should give us 0 0.9285. Well, before we get the value of theta, I want us to note that we also know the value of this height here, which is AF. And AF we determined as 18.01. So we can also choose to use this side and this hypotenuse to determine the value of theta. And that will be opposite over hypotenuse which is sine and we can also use that together with adjacent that is opposite of adjacent and that will be tangent so any of these trigonometric ratios can apply at this stage so i've just settled on cosine and that is what i'm going to use to determine the value of theta all those other ways should give us the same result so theta should be the cosine inverse of this, that is the cosine inverse of 0 0.9285. And that therefore means that theta is 21.80. That is correct to four significant figures as required in the equation. And with this, we mark the end of the solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.